This video is a short overview about the Provider Claims Workbench. So you find it by going to Workbench and down to Provider Claims. And then these are test patients here. And the information that these test patients' claims are missing is listed below. So typically in red, it shows you what is needed. All of these claims are missing information, which is preventing them from being paid. That's why they sit on the Provider Claims Workbench. If this claim is on your workbench, that means it is missing information, and it says what's missing down here below. So for this particular one, they're missing the charge amount for what the charge was, and you can see further down here that they're missing all of the patient demographic information, which would prevent the claim from being paid as well. And then right here in yellow, you can actually type a note if you want to keep this on your workbench for later and then you would click the take action button you can also type a note there if the billing team has a question for you that they need an answer to so you could add a note and keep it on your workbench you could respond to the biller if they have a question uh, you can provide the information necessary and resubmit it uh, you can force it to be sent to the insurance company it may come back though as rejected. Uh, you can also type a note and set a follow-up date. Say if it's a uh, in-house PIP claim and you want to follow up in 30 days, you could do that. And you can bill the remaining amount to the patient or allocate remaining money. And you can print selected claims by selecting them first, then clicking this. You can print uh, HCFA HICFA and you can mark the claim as being mailed uh, you can send the claim to collections you could put it into a special project would be something like a personal injury claim that is going to uh, litigation with an attorney so you could put it into a special project so it doesn't skew your billing stats uh, you could also write it off and discard it this is just a brief overview of the Provider Claims Workbench, and please view the video at the bottom of the help page to see how to fix specific claims.